But no, no damage either to himself or our monitors or other time. So it's brakes going through his usual arm labor, but not the typical brakes special submission. That no doubt he'll be trying during this part. Two minutes to go in the second round of 12. He's got one arm in the back hammer, going for the opposite arm too to try and turn his man. There, the shoulder blades are down. Kind of too early. Briggs gives up on that one, but it loses him much too quickly before his man is up. Certainly, Rick Faulkner has not forgiven his opponent for that, taking his title off in the way he did last time. He the hand. One minute to go, and it breaks, starting to operate on the Faulkner nose. Faulkner has other ideas. A bit of hair, pull the hair. You know whether Gordon Smith spotted it, but Faulkner has certainly shown him what happens now. It's a pity if this develops into a, just a, a fight like this. It's on, on a title that depends on it. Half a minute. bit close to deliver that forearm. By the time he's made up his mind whether he's going to or not, the bell will have gone. Vic Faulkner going over to his corner, and there in the striped shirt there is his brother, Bert Royal, probably giving him some advice. In other words, I imagine he's probably saying, cool it just a little bit, because you're getting a bit needled too early in this. He's a dangerous fellow to get needled with. Round three, ten rounds to go. Faulkner coming across the ring with a drop kick. Only half connected. Over the top, double leg Nelson. Now for that chance. Now, well, the crowd really standing up there as they saw a possibility of Faulkner getting the first score. He may threaten, but he never landed. That's what he was disqualified for last time. Nicely. A little too much fighting, not enough wrestling at the moment. by Brakes. That's the twist it out. Again to the bear. Reverse double leg Nelson to the folder. Yes, yes, yes. He's got it. And Folder is oh, very happy about that. And so is everybody else as you can see in here. Ladies and gentlemen, in one minute, 50 seconds of the 
third round, the first ball to Ben Faulkner. Ben Royal still looking worried, doesn't like this opponent at all, still advising his younger brother, Beck. Both these men, of course, the sons of the famous middleweight wrestler, Vic Hessel, who retired a few years back. Taken down, round four. Nine rounds to go as we start the fourth, and Vic Faulkner in the light trunk, the uh, challenger, leading the champion, Jimmy Breaks by one fall and nil, and that would look totally like it could have been the second. The, that's all he wants, really, is to win two to nil now. That would really complete his revenge. Jimmy Breaks, I'm trying to lay it on a little bit. Jimmy Breaks is thinking of that special arm submission of his. He likes his man standing up better when he applies it, but this will do for the moment. Brace goes in on that arm submission once again. His second, Burt Royal, is still complaining to the referee. There he is, sitting down at the moment. Now he's standing up again, beefing about something to Gordon Smith, the referee. And Royal doesn't like what's happening at all. That's what he's doing with the right hand. Jordan Smith watching the left, not what hand, the shoulder blades, but not watching the right hand of Brakes. Now, of course, he's moved it. And back to the submission, arm leader. Perfect illegal hold, of course. Same arm, really weakening that Faulkner left arm now for all he's worth. He's trailing by one fall, breaks, and he's determined to get that equalizer. And it's probably going to be a by submission if he has the Again, Burt Royal beefing to the ref. Jim breaks, hears him, and goes over and takes the bottom rope in front of him. Two minutes to go in the fourth. There's that submission arm lever again, that special breaks move, but he's won so many bouts with. Can he do the same again? It's really going over the whole way, look at that. And it's not all the way with the joint by any means, in case that's what it looks like to you at home. But Courtney's got the other hand into an interlock. Now, can he counter with it? Yes. Straight arm lift. And Brace gets out of the ring. And he's getting angry with Bert Royal now. Royal's eye is really spitting anger there as he looks at over at the close corner. One minute to go. Faulkner a little respite when he holds this uh, head scissors. Just as long as he can keep that 